became a Christian when I was 16. I had, I submitted myself to the will of Jesus Christ. And something we happened. Love, I, I felt that you I, was God. 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 I was really hungry for God. You I felt that I would die if I didn't find God. And when I gave my life to Jesus Christ, something else like oh, God became in, like, the hunger went away. I was flooded. I was like an ocean of doubt. God became real to me. And God spoke to me. He said, go tell to the world that I can do for them what I have done for you. That's me. And this is what I'm doing. I'm telling people that Jesus, in Jesus Christ, you find God. And that's what happened. I found God. How do you know it was God speaking to you? Huh? How do you know it was God speaking to you, telling you to go and tell other people? How do I know? How do you know it was God? You know, it's something. God is all, all loving, all merciful, all powerful. You get an indication that God has spoken to you. And it is based upon what Jesus taught. Jesus taught this. He said it's an objective. Objective here, Jesus taught the biblical objective. So, so that objective fact, I followed that, and then that God became real to me. God revealed himself to me. So you follow the teaching of Jesus Christ. What is the teaching of Jesus Christ about God and about him and the relationship between them? Jesus reveals God. Jesus shows what God is like in character. He is the portrait of God's character. If you want to know what is the character of God, look at Jesus. Jesus is what did he say about God? Is he a creation of God? Jesus is not a creation of God. So what is he? Jesus is God become man. He's the human life of God. How many gods did Jesus talk about? Only one God. And that's Jesus in the human form. Jesus called Jesus always addressed God as his father. He said, I come from the father, I go back to the father. He is God out of God. When you say one God, that's Jesus in the flesh. Jesus is God become human. Yeah. When you have one God, that's Jesus who became flesh. God who became Jesus in the flesh, right? That's it. God became Jesus, a human being. Yes, yes. So you have God, the one God. Are you on the inside? Who became a human form called Jesus. So human form is actually the real human form, and that's the one God, right? But you have not. Jesus is God become man. See you talking to him. Why have you not been a child? I know you are a child. Some kind of absolute transcendence idea, you know. Like, you are taking the old Bailey when the Westminster terrorist is on trial. You're standing with Hitman to hear. We believe calling for a world from the scriptures, the New Testament, that God can take up. Why are you so shy? In any way. Why are you so shy? Your hand is not happy. Is it anyway? Are your handlers not happy? Okay. So. Are your handlers not happy with the attention? When you say there is one God, one yeah. This one God before he came on the earth. Where was he? He's the creator, he controls that, he's only right. so he's was, everywhere. So he was everywhere. He has the so, power to be so one God was everywhere, and then he became a human. Okay? So when he became a human, so when he became human, he still is that one God, right? Jesus is God become man. Sure, sure. I'm saying you have one God to begin with. Yeah? To begin with, you have one God. Because that's what you have. You haven't got, you haven't got five gods to begin with. One God. There is always one God. Good. So this one God took a human form. And that's the same God, but now in a form of human flesh. God is a projection. God can project himself into history. Good. God can project into history as a human being. 
is God out of God. Does it mean that God has left okay. his throne? So God has taken so this, himself so this, human hu being. this human being Jesus Christ. This human Jesus Christ. This human being Jesus Christ is who is Jesus Christ yeah. is that God. Right? Is that God become man? Good. So when Jesus Christ says there's someone in heaven, but he is already that one God. So who is he speaking to? He's speaking to the Father. No, he is the Father. Right? Isn't he? How many gods do you believe in? You said one. One. Is that the Father who's one God? Jesus is the Son of God. So now you don't believe in one God as in one person. You believe in one God in multiple persons. Jesus is that right? Well, there is only one God. But how many persons within that one God? See, he reveals himself. When, like Jesus said, I come out of the Father. As a human being is coming to the earth, we call him the Son. Jesus said, he's the Son coming out of God. So this God. Son, this Son who's in the human form, is only human and not divine. Is that what he, you're saying? He is divine human. He's God become man. So, so he was divine. The Son was divine. The Son... <laughs> Before he took the human form, was the Son Jesus, also divine? Yeah, the Son was in the form of God always. So the form of God? What do you mean in the form of it God? It means essence of God taking a form. Either, God can do anything. God, either, can, God can take any form God wants. Either the Son was already God or he wasn't God before he took the human form. He was, Jesus is the man God. Jesus, the God become man. Look, before he became man, Jesus before he became man. So he was God before he became man. Right. In the form of God. Good. So I follow you. So Jesus, so if we were to talk about God before the universe was created, before he took the human form, how many gods were you talking about? There's only one God. There's one God. Is that the Son, the one God? Again, saying the same thing. There is one God. Yeah. He can take up any form. God but before God. any form was taken. So consider this. At one point, you and I agree this world was not created. Yeah? Do you agree? So we are talking about God before the creation of this universe. Before the creation of our world. Yeah? Good. At that point, when you say God is one, is that the Son? God has always existed in any form he wants to. But out of, when we say Son, we say Son proceeds from the Father, God out of God. Holy Spirit proceeds out of the Father. Holy Spirit is God. So it is God proceeding out of God. Not three gods. These are just the manifestations, how God manifests. Just one God. Before this universe was ever created, you said there was one God. Yeah? You said that? No, see that question is not correct. My question is not correct for what reason? We don't use time language with God. If nothing was created, you can know nothing about God. Only God reveals. Unless God reveals, so, we can. So, so you can talk only through what God has revealed to us. If you ask so, me arbitrary questions, then... Why is my you. question wrong again, clarify? Because you are, you are saying that we can have knowledge without revelation. I didn't say anything at all. So when you said before... No, I am simply saying the, the universe... At one point did not exist, but God existed. Then you can't ask anything about God. Sorry, 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 sorry. Are you saying God, whether he was one or two, before the uni before this one universe was created? You can't talk like that about God. Can you let me finish this point? Before the universe was created, did God know whether he's one or two? You ask God, see you again asking the question. No, no, did he know whether he's one or two? Only God. See, you were asking so, questions that properly belong to God. Fair enough. Okay? So did he know whether he's one or two? See, you are committing a fallacy of a, a complex question. 
when I speak of God in Jesus Christ, I'm talking of the revelation, how God reveals Himself. You are talking about pre-revelation. I don't know anything. We cannot know. Talk about pre-revelation. That's the fallacy the Muslims are always committing. The, the, the fallacy, I think, in that. The fallacy I think, you know is what? you're making of assumption. Look, I am saying, that's not a we, you we, we, that. we, we are not making assumption about who God is. Allah cannot be known, right? I don't know where you get getting this from. So let's oh, talk about it. You're talking about God, right? I don't know where you're getting this from that Allah cannot be known. So Allah is not God. Hang on. Oh, oh, no, no. Where Let, did you get this from that Allah cannot be known? Can Allah be known? Do you tell me? No, where did you get this from? That's my, uh, so far my understanding of it. My understanding is wrong. Yeah. So now you understand my position. So let me come back to the Allah position. Allah cannot be known. No, Allah can be known. Can be known. How? Yeah. Yeah. From the creation. Oh, but then, <laughs> are you knowing only the creation? How do you know creation is like Allah? Who says creation is like Allah? Allah is unlike the creation. So, how can you know from creation? Can this creation exist without Allah? That's a different question. It no, that's how we know. No, so no, that's no, how it no, can no, be known. No, no, no. You're still jumping from Excuse creation me. to Allah. Listen, is this creation dependent on Allah or independent of Him? You are throwing a red herring now. Let's talk. You seem to be yes, sorry. sorry. Sir, uh, You're uh, using words like logical fallacies, no, red herring. No, so no, I want to know exactly where no, my no, logical fallacies are. Sir, is this uh, creation dependent on a creator or independent of a creator? That's a different question. Answer that first. Why do you, you ask me? I asked you a question, and you're changing the topic. No, you I'm seem saying, to say, according to Islam, Allah cannot be known. Uh, uh, you're wrong. So now let you me tell compare. me how Allah can be known. I just told you. Even the creation, creation is not Allah. Even the creation, from observing it, we know that Allah exists. You can only say Allah exists, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Wait, wait. But you can't wait. know what he's like. Wait, wait. Do you know what is the character of can Allah? Can you slow down a little bit? If you believe this creation is independent of a creator, I didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah, like, so like, let me now let me now here. see sure. whether you're making any logical fallacies yourself. Can this creation be independent of a creator? What do you mean by that? Creation is what part of my question is not clear? This one, the precise. Create independent dependent can mean two things. Mm -hmm. For me, creation exists by the power of God. If God says, Shh, go away, mm -hmm. it'll be gone. Mm -hmm. That's the power of God. So it exists in God's power. Can that's this creation only, exist so, without a so creator? Brother, I need to go sometimes. So. Oh, 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 so. Good morning. So, yeah. If you're around, come back here. Can, can this creation don't get caught up in very particular questions? You need to make the wider point. All right, well, good to see you. See you later. Good to see you. Once. See you later. Can this creation exist without a creator? No. That's a tautology. You said creator and I asked me the question. Creator means he's the creator of everything. I mean, why do you ask that question? Okay. That is so, a silly question. Okay. Okay. So, you know, is, this, is this creation, forget creation then, this world, did it always exist? Did this world always exist? No, the world, in, it can't. God created the world. It has a well, Don't bring your logical fallacy of assumption in. God created. Now we will see who's talking about logical fallacies. Sir. This world, my question to you is, did it always exist? It came into being at, in time. God created this. So you're saying this creation is dependent on God for him to bring into existence. But that's what... That's what How did creator you, means. I mean, why do you ask that? Question? Did I say creator? I said this world. You didn't. I'm saying it. Now, I'm saying, so, can this world, or is this world eternally existent? No, only God. Right. How do you know that without bringing God in? You yourself said it. You can said I, it. How can I even have a meaningful conversation you with you? Because, you see, you want to... Put me in a, I'm not putting you anywhere. A, I'm a, simply saying you a, asked a, me. You're trying to put me in a certain template no. of logic. No, that, you, you asked that me. You have developed. No, you, you want to force me into that. 
But that is Why are you feeling so threatened by intellectual questioning? I'm enjoying myself. Do I look threatened? Right. My Good then. Mouth gets so, dry. That's the problem. Right. I have. So now so here, I here is the question mind. again. We talk about one God. Let's return to the subject. You said one God, didn't you? So, before this universe was created, obviously there was this one God, isn't it? Why are you Should saying? I say something new. I mean, you're repeating yourself. Sorry, are you saying there wasn't one God before the universe you're was created? You're repeating yourself. Yeah, there's one God. Why? Why are you so reluctant in admitting Who's that? Saying, okay. I'm saying. That Do you agree what? then? Even before this world was created, came into existence, there was one God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you Be simple, that? simple. Well, Do you what agree? I, said, I don't know what are you. So yes, Make thank you. Point. So is this yeah. one God the Son or the Father? You see, again, you're asking a question simple. that is out of creation. See, that's what I'm saying. That is what you're assuming, as if you can know who God is in His absolute. Okay, let me let me tell you about you something. You can't know okay. anything about God Here, except when God reveals sure, sure. Himself. Do you know what one means? Do you understand okay, what do you know what one means? One. In contrast to two, what does one mean? One means one. That's God tautology. Two, three, That's four. a logical fallacy. Tautology. That's a clear example of tautology. What does one mean? One means one. Is our Sorry. creation one, or there are many? Uh, listen, creations? listen. I'm, I'm ask you, you are trying to you are trying to show me that no, I am committing no, logical fallacies. No, so no, I no. asked you, you, what are, does one no. mean in contrast to two? You said one means one. So you Isn't that a tautological answer? answer? So you can't speak if you say one God, then you're contrasting God with okay. something. What are you oh, contrasting with? Let me help him, or let me help that's myself. A, that's a, when that's I what asked you, you okay. that's the tautology okay. Okay. you're talking about. Curry, I don't look, think you understand this point. When I say, what does one mean in contrast to two, it means one is not two, right? You one has a meaning. Fingers, you can't talk about God like that. Am I talking about God or am I talking about uh, numbers only? Okay, let's talk about numbers then. Right. Number what one. Is the creation it, one or many? Wait, wait. When I say one yeah. and when I say two. So you're talking about something different. Right? Um, you're not talking about God. I thought you understood what I'm saying. So no, when I say I one. Don't know. Are okay. you talking about Allah or are you talking about numbers? I'm talking about now the concept no. of one and two. You're changing topics. Because you don't understand the so concept of... So you're going to explain that to numbers, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. But how can you compare God with numbers? So, do you believe in five gods? I didn't say that, no. There are I'm no, asking you the question. Do you believe in five one gods? one absolute transcendent God. Why are you using numbers? Because there is one. No, why are you using number? There's one is a number, is. isn't it? Because there is nobody Excuse else. me, why are you using number? One. So you know what one means. But then why do you keep on pushing that point? Sorry, sorry. We both understand. But you, I'm not explaining right. God through numbers. Okay. So I'm not explaining God through numbers. Why do you use the word one? Do you know what it means? What does it mean? I'm asking. Because I don't know what that one is. Is it, uh, is it uh, diversity in unity? Or is it unity in diversity? I don't know so, that. Okay, when I say one and two, do you know the difference? Well, one can be a unity. See, that's what I'm saying. Good. If you go over what you're talking about... Now I got you there. That's what... When you say one, you... Got, you I think I you, got you there. You mean, when you say one, it could be one as a united one. As a unity. Unity is also one. Fine, fine. So, the father, is he one or united in your, God, the, in your belief father, system? Father, when you say father, that is revelational. You're not talking about you can, absolutely transcendent. You can't talk you about You can bring that. your revelation to help answer the question. All right, so now when you're talking different now. Not different. And your questions not, change. No, my question That's doesn't change. I'm asking, look, look. You, you're trying I, I, to I be, you're, 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 you're trying. Yeah. I don't. That's clearly, right. clearly, isn't it? Yeah, that's But you right. do, right? But you're bringing it from But you do, you do, right? But you do? Well, do you? At this point. Excuse me. Do you understand philosophy and logic? Yeah. Very good then. So I can learn something from yeah, you. Yeah. Very good. So, so I can learn something. My question to you no, is I'm not finished yet. I'm here, here. In your belief system, when you say one God, the Father, is he one God or part of this one God? Where do you get the word Father? From your that scripture. That belongs to Revelation. Yes. Bring Revelation in. So, but, but so say, in your Revelation, but you're asking questions when your Revelation you. describes this one God, you're asking me questions to the ontology of God, who God is in himself or whatever, herself, whatever, he doesn't have a gender. Can your scripture help? That you can't know. Can your scripture help? God, through revelation. Yes. God, 
out of God. God takes a form. The form of God. But that's what 